the ninth day, God looked down on his wide-eyed children and said they need a companion. So God made a dog. God said I need somebody willing to wake up, give kisses, pee on a tree, sleep all day, wake up again, give more kisses, then stay up until midnight basking in the glow of a television set. So God made a dog. God said I need somebody willing to sit, then stay, then roll over. Then with no ego or complaint, dress in hats they don't need and costumes they don't understand. I need somebody who can break wind without a first care or a second thought. Who can chase tails, sniff crotches, fetch sticks, and lift spirits with a lick. Somebody who no matter what you didn't do or couldn't take or didn't win or couldn't make, will love you without judgment just the same, so God made a dog. God said I need somebody strong enough to pull sleds and find bombs, yet gentle enough to love babies and lead the blind. Somebody who will spend all day on a couch with a resting head and supportive eyes to lift the spirits of a broken heart. So God made a dog. It had to be somebody who'd remain patient and loyal, even through loneliness. Somebody to care, cuddle, snuggle, and nuzzle, and cheer, and charm, and snore, and slobber, and eat the trash, and chase the squirrels. Somebody who would bring a family together with a selflessness of an open heart. Somebody who would bark, and then pat, and then reply with rapid wag of tail. When their best friend says, let's go for a ride in the car. So God made a dog.